Goblin horror nerds, and welcome <laughs> back to another year in review episode of Monster Candy Podcast with myself, Scream and E from the Memphis Murderman, and Oubliette Sparks from Tsunami Bomb. And today we have a special New Year's treat. Dominic is back in the house, <laughs> and with him is his main squeeze, his partner in crime, and fellow Yinzer, Valerie Ott. And they're going to be here to talk a little bit about their horror venture into the world of horror goodies. So, welcome, guys. Dominic, it's great to have you back, buddy. It's very nice to be back. I'm really enjoying the fact that this podcast has gotten its 50% tsunami bomb uh, <laughs> <Rating. laughs> presence in there but in response that now there's 50% more Pittsburgh Pennsylvania here so what this is it is true that's what you guys yeah I feel like you... I feel like both things have to be listed on the bag now right probably <laughs> <On> any branding <laughs> yeah. we've reached the limit <laughs> now we have to disclose these things hell yeah Valerie my fellow Pittsburghian Yinzer buddy what is up I didn't even wear black and yellow on purpose, but I mean, we're both it, wearing black and yellow. It's kind of in our blood, so it's fine. It's fine. True. True. I didn't know that people oh, yeah. from Pittsburgh are like Texans and will literally let everybody know that they're from Pittsburgh. And even when they're not from, they're not in Pittsburgh and they don't live there anymore, they still are Pittsburgh. Well, yeah, because, dude, we travel. You never it's like it's like putting out the fucking bat signal. You put it out and somewhere someone's gonna be like, oh shit. It's like a big pierogi or something. Everyone goes running towards it. We're everywhere. We are everywhere. It's a, one of the Wait. first people I've met out here were people from Pittsburgh. And I was like, What? What? How? I feel like we're uncovering some sort of weird world domination thing. Maybe. And that you're you're letting us in on too much knowledge right now. This or maybe the, I'm letting you the in. segue into what's going to happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're just trying to keep the balance. We got to fight off the lizard people. And the only way to do that mm-hmm. is to spread yinzers around the world. To push them in a jagger bush. Oh, fucking jaggers. I hate jaggers. Valerie. Very, very dangerous. Me, <laughs> is it, is it, is it true that people from, from Pittsburgh naturally have an affinity for horror? Cause that's the impression I'm getting from, knowing yes more than just you two. Oh yeah 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 i agree yeah it's i don't know it's not like you even have to be into you know because we're all into punk rock and stuff like that like back there you don't even have to be into anything like subculture you just love horror movies it could be like the most mainstream basic person in the world and they're like I was a fucking extra in whatever zombie film. No, we've got yeah, we've got all the zombie movies as our claim totally. to fame. So yeah, so yeah, it's like Steelers and horror movies. And I mean, there's like the pirates, but they're just kind of like eh, you know, you feel bad for them for the most part. Don't forget so the you, penguins and the penguins. But yeah, it's yeah, it's very it's like sports, beer, really. Zombies. Is in zombies and really thick. Heinz ketchup, Heinz ketchup, French fries, and everything. Yes, yes, yeah. delicious, amazing. Yeah. All right. Um. Oh well. Welcome everybody. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hi. We're we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh what we loved, what we hated, and uh what we thought was just okay. But I guess before we get into all of that, 
should probably talk about some. That's you know, you right. never forget. You never forget your your first horror news ticker tape. <laughs> so horror news. Who's got some? Or who wants to talk about some? Or who wants to talk about anything? I saw the Renfield trailer and it looks to be possibly better than what I was expecting. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I <would> agree. <laughs> But <laughs> from what I'm also hearing <laughs> is, man, there it's come out that there's not going to be like a ton of Cage in it. Yeah, but Cage is so impactful when he is around. I mean, <laughs> how much Cage do you need, I guess? Honestly, but, you know, in the scenes you don't see him, he's that weirdo that's standing behind the wall, yeah. like shadow coaching. <laughs> he's always there like, yes, you nailed that line, you know. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Just put some cage in it. You know that's all you have to do. Yeah. I I love watching trailers. I'm addicted. I I watch every trailer I can I can get my hands on. But Valerie is uh, like has sworn to not watch trailers and gets annoyed when I show them. I've to become her. completely anti movie trailer. I like that and 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 I they bet the reason why nowadays. yeah because they show you they give it up Best. and you're like yeah. I like things so much better when I go in blind and I just don't enjoy trailers. I I don't know. I never have. And I've never been able to articulate it until recently. And finally, I just told him, quit showing me trailers. I don't want to watch them. Just show me the movie. I I appreciate that. That's kind of deceitful too. Like that movie, Mm -hmm. The Menu. Right. That trailer made everybody think it was a cannibal movie. And it wasn't. Was it not? I I didn't watch it. Spoiler. There's no... Yeah, sorry, it's not a cannibal movie. It's not a fucking cannibal movie. It's a dark mm. comedy without cannibalism. Oh. But it was funny because, like, you know, with some of the actors and everything, I had people who weren't necessarily horror fans because it was marketed as a horror and as yes. basically some cannibalism happening. Uh, so, so many people that I suggested would like it. They're like, oh, I hate horror movies. And like, I'm not, I don't want to watch people eat people. And I'm like, man, why did they market it that way? A bunch of these fucking people would have seen it if they thought it was what it was. Yeah. That's what I remember. That's what you were telling me. Cause you're like, dude, I saw it and it's not at all what you think it is. And, and that's what chaps my ass this week. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> I, because. I, I don't need you to M. Night Shyamalan the village me, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I it, was going to see it regardless. It's about the restaurant industry. <laughs> Give me that's why I wanted to see the trailer. Well, that seems that's like how trailers go. It's one or the other. It's They completely throw you off and you go in thinking it's a completely different type of movie. Or, or they give it up on the first kiss. They, yeah. And it's so fucking stupid because you go back and watch like old trailers from like the seventies and the eighties, like they don't, they, they give you like hints of, Oh, what it might be. And then, but that's it. Like, you don't really know what, what's going on. Like that movie, uh, that I showed you, uh, um, what was it called? 65, 65 million years ago. The one with fucking what's his nuts. Darth <laughs> Vader's son in it. <laughs> the Mark the, dino- the dinosaur movie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck's his name? What's his name? Mark Hamill? Mark Hamill? No, no. No, I mean, not Darth Vader's son, but Luke Skywalker's son, or whoever the fucking new Jedi Darth guy is in Star Wars. Gene oh, okay. It took me way Adrian, too long no. to decipher that. Other- okay, yes. The new sci-fi movie starring Adam Driver that yes. he <laughs> yes. pushed yes. into the... Kylo Ren. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Okay. Kylo Ren. Wow. Wow. You, I know that you're kind of disconnected from that, but that's like real. It's, disconnected. I was like, it, <laughs> no, it's my brain got my brain has permanently been stuck on on Matt. And you said 80s movie <laughs> from fucking He's Saturday Night Live. Darth Vader's grandson. Yeah. Yeah. But I always think Matt from that Saturday Night Live skit where he went in and infiltrated. It was like undercover boss. Undercover about yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm Matt. I'm like, that's all I think of Matt. I can't remember his name or his character's name or anything. But anyway, yeah, 65. So yeah, they, you know, obviously you kind of get what it is, but they show way too much in that trailer. And I'm like, 
well yeah thanks obviously it's dinosaurs now like i'm with you yeah. valerie it does seem like in that movie the oh, part of the... that trailer mm-hmm. yes just recently you threw me off with the 80s thing so <laughs> stuck back there okay, got it yeah that that movie it said it did seem like at least in the movie there's go, there's supposed to be some confusion about where he is and then right well, now we know everybody yeah. knows yeah so yeah know. now valerie like knows stuff as, like as that, if you watch though. the trailer yeah um. sorry sorry about <laughs> earmuffs <laughs> but the thing is is i I'm, I'm all for it i'm like a third grader when it comes to that you can have whatever kind of movie and then you plop dinosaurs into it and i'm gonna scream dinosaurs and get happy oh totally i'm still gonna see it it looks fun but you know <laughs> i mean i'm still gonna see it but yeah i just wish i would have would have been a little more mystique shit. yes um dominic you got any horror news <laughs> i mean i you know i looked around a little it's it seems like everybody's just sort of kind of getting going like there's a lot of uh stuff that's just lists right now like this right. actual episode <laughs> so we're still in that um place i did see that something i thought was kind of interesting was uh um what's his name it's gonna come to me anyway mike uh, adam driver no not adam driver but mark hamill uh, (laughs) no (laughs) see (laughs) okay 80s guy who is harrison ford (laughs) nightmare on elm street 2 the star of it mike Patton needs help because he's stuck in Mexico with medical issues and they're trying to move him back into America and they're going to need to pay for care. So um, there's uh, they're looking for for help. Uh, it looks to be complications. They the first thought it would be co- was COVID, but it looks to be complications with um, Mexico uh, AIDS. Oh. So he's having some trouble and he he was. Uh, yeah, he's got I don't that know if Mexico you guys watched disease. it. But he, was, he was that document. He was in the doc. He had the my documentary. Paul told Scream me about Queen, that. Scream Queen, uh, My Nightmare on Elm Street. Right. So he just had that. So he's he's just having a a bit of a thing there. Um, there's a I GoFundMe out for him. Uh, but uh, yeah, it seems like he's having a hard time. And yeah, uh, help out if you can, everybody. Yeah. I mean, it makes a big difference. I can actually, uh, I can definitely uh, say that it does help. Um, Because even when you have insurance, even when you have stuff, it's it doesn't it doesn't help. All it doesn't pay for everything. So uh, it's it it just makes things so much easier. So um, I I don't um, I doubt putting putting the link would be tough. It would be hard. But I think if you just if anyone listening wants to help, look look up Mark Patton uh and uh go fund me and i'm sure you'll find it uh on google yeah yeah and it's all i think uh bloody disgusting put something up about it too so i'm sure it's in yeah, there yeah i saw and... it on a couple of sites bloody disgusting yeah. definitely has it so um, that and elvira has a, a monster high doll and it sold out immediately of course she she is like a living monster high doll probably the first yeah. monster high doll the og it seems appropriate I didn't realize Monster High was still doing stuff. Yeah. Well, I not guess that I'm up on children's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're not Charlie Price. Charlie. No. <laughs> 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 Whoa. Uh, yeah. I had hey, to shout out, Charlie. Um, yeah. Hey, they're our future. <laughs> yeah. Teach them well. Let them Let lead, them the, lead way. the way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, well, I guess they're supposed to be coming out, or they did come out with like a movie, like a live action movie or a TV show or some bullshit. I don't know about oh, Monster High. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I had already moved on. I was like, <laughs> I thought this was going to be another Darth Vader's kid thing. I was like, <laughs> we're going to finish that thought. Where are we? What live yeah. action? Yeah, it it seems like they've missed the boat though on like the heyday of Monster High. Yeah, well, you know, you know, you're looking for things to make it sell when you're like going for those celebrity endorsements. Yeah, so. yeah. but, good but sold it. out. I mean, it worked. So I don't yeah. know. I would have bought it if I was paying attention, but I never. <laughs> you're not up on your Monster High stuff. I yeah, why not? 
I actually have a no. I actually have a custom Monster High doll that I made. Oh. Like they sold blanks for a while, and hmm. you could build your own. And I made a ghost, a ghost girl. Okay. Yeah. She you should post it. Cool. Did you ever post it up? I don't think I did. Where so, is it? It's in. It's in packed. It's in storage downstairs. But <laughs> I was like, please don't tell me this is in our home, and no. <laughs> I just haven't seen it. <laughs> I've been it's a moving good ghost. it around. It's a ghost. It's Valerie. in a special place. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> around constantly. No, that I could definitely should, happen. Yeah, I should bring yes. it. I, I, did you I, really? I just move it around every day and see if you notice. <laughs> you haven't noticed for months. It's ridiculous. Did, did you really no. make one doll, or is it a ghost and you can't see it? I, I did. I I really did. I made a doll. I I grabbed a bunch of different parts. We bought a, a bunch. A couple of friends of mine bought a bunch of different kits, and we swapped parts. And I managed to get all the parts that were more ghost. And then I made her pretty punk rock, and she's really cool. I'm gonna bring her out of storage. Actually, she yeah, should be you should house. put that up, dude. She's, She's cute. Monster yeah. High has gotten enough of my money over the years from my fucking niece being into it. Like when it was a thing, they're getting none of my money. None. <laughs> no, I draw the line. Ah, oh, Valerie. Uh, I think I have bad news. Uh, I was going to talk yes. about the Valentine's haunt uh, that they used to do down in, where was that? Hayward? And then mm. I think they, I don't remember where it was last year, but it's not happening this year. Hmm. I just looked it up Aww. and it is apparently not happening. And I'm sad. So if anybody knows of any good Valentine's haunted house things, I've never <laughs> known of that being a thing <laughs> until a couple of years ago. And we did it and it was awesome. It was uh, a yeah, lie. Let us know. I mean, Hayward, probably just because of Hayward. Possibly. It was in a mall. <laughs> Mm. They took over a, a like a, a section of a mall, and that sounds bad. And I expected it to be terrible when we went. I thought, you know, we we had never been to a haunted house together before because of COVID, right? And I expected the worst, and it was good. It was actually great. I mean, it's a cool idea. I was and, surprised. It yeah. was fantastic. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder I, why. I've heard that Pittsburgh has quite a haunted house scene from Valerie. They do good and bad ones. Yes, yeah. they, they got the spectrum. And they're all great. <laughs> In their own way. Yes. Yeah, they do. Yeah, well, you, it used to be like, a, I mean, obviously it's a thing for everyone around Halloween to go to, but they have like a fuck ton because, you know, there's a lot of land, a lot of open land around. So everyone's like, hey, I got a fucking farmhouse or I own a school for whatever reason that hasn't <laughs> I, I got a Bit farmhouse a for years. Let's fucking scare people in it. Yeah. So <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I, I look at this. Look at all this land. I'm gonna yeah. scare fucking kids. Let's do yeah. this. The corn mazes. I'm starting to understand yeah. why you guys like horror so much. It's everywhere. There, there's a big bison farm here that turns into a giant haunted house with just like the bison roaming around. I mean, I think the bison can be scary enough in the, in the right circumstances. Wasn't there a video from Yellowstone <laughs> yeah, of some really nine-year-old getting yeeted yes. by a bison yes. because yeah. they were I fucking was. around? Yeah, I love those videos. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I also liked it, though, that Yellowstone was like, no, we're not putting the bison down. We're not doing yeah. that because you guys... Well, yeah, there was guys, that one guy that know. was, like, right in his fucking way. Yeah. 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 They're like, yeah, we're not doing that. You guys went up to it. We told you not to. So yeah. I was like, thank God. Yeah. But yeah, they're like, no, we're not killing the body. But I was like, they had the video. I felt bad for the little girl, but like, shit happens. Yeah. Yeah. She fucked around and found out. So. So like, like, oh, remember, did everybody see the video of the woman getting out of the car at the safari and mm-hmm. the tiger, like, yeah. she's yelling at her husband and the tiger, like, comes up and grabs her and pulls her away? So dumb. Yeah. Don't get I mean, out of a car. No, you Fight can hear out at the, the diner, car. like, there will be bears out there and people are walking out there with their kids to go look at the bears, thinking it's, like, part of the experience. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, your kid has a freaking burger in its hand and you're walking towards a bear. That's a really good idea. Get between a cub and a mother and you'll really have an experience. Fucking Darwinism. 
fucking so fucking dumb. <laughs> First world problems. Ah, uh, my son got eaten by a bear that we went to see up close because we're that fucking. We wanted a picture to put on our <laughs> yeah. Instagram. Ah, oh, fucking people. Um. All right, I got some horror news, and I don't know how to feel about this. It could be real good, or I don't necessarily know if it needs to be done. So, the director of Werewolf by Night, what Michael yeah. and composer Michael Giacchino, is going to redo them. He's going to remake them. I love them. Nice. I love them, too. <laughs> I don't know if it needs to be done, though. If anyone would do a good job... I think him or uh, uh, Del Toro would do a good job. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those things where I don't know if it needs to be done, but I'm interested to see how he pulls it off or if he pulls it off. We watched that movie not long ago and I was like, I fucking love this movie. This movie is so good Mm -hmm. and it totally stands up. I mean, yes, it's dated. It's got its thing, but it's like a really great monster movie that doesn't always get like love. Like nobody goes like, oh, them. But like right. if you guys if anyone listening hasn't seen them, go look for them. It's it, a fucking it's, real good movie. It's a really good, it's a surprisingly great movie. And um I I actually have a great story about them. So when I was a kid, I went to the library. I, I had to be like first grade. Like maybe I went to I'd go to the library a bunch during when I when they would let me for the of the school and I found a book that was basically the illustrated it was like a photo book and the story of the movie them and I loved it like I hadn't even seen the movie but I got this book and I kept checking it out and reading through it like it became my favorite and the librarian is like why are you checking this book out so much and i was like have you read it it's so good and she was like okay i mean it was like i'm just like no this is a really cool book i really like it and then when i got old enough to see i was thinking about i remember seeing the movie and the dvd and i like i grabbed it i was like i've never seen this but i've read the book <laughs> And then I, I watched it and I was like, I remember thinking, motherfucker, it's totally stands up. This is a great movie. And I, it's like one of my favorite, favorite movies, uh, horror, like old horror movies and or old monster movies. And, yeah. Uh, so, Dude, yeah. I, man, I don't even know if I, when the last time I actually saw it, saw it was, but. The f- a couple years ago, during the first Joe Bob's Jamboree, when they had it in Lee Heighton, PA, that was one of the movies they were showing at the drive-in for the event. And I'm like, man, this movie, like, I, I remember bits and pieces of it, but I never owned it. And I had probably hadn't seen it, I don't know, decades up until then. And then I watch it. I'm like, dude, this is a fucking really good movie. And then... <laughs> The uh, Orinda Theater showed it out here, and I went to see it. I'm like, dude, it's such a fucking good movie. And I had to buy the fucking DVD and the Blu ray, and I'm like, this movie's so good. And yeah, you a lot of people never really spoke about it. Oh, it's them, 1954 old monster movie, cool, but yeah, I never really heard much about it. No, nobody ever like brings up giant ants, but. Mm-mm. News flash, giant ants are fucking scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can a bunch of ants really big. It's a problem. Well, they would always people would like talk about it in passing. You know, oh them this it's this cool fifties sci fi movie, and then just kind of you know they'd have it on some list here or there. But yeah, Dude, people, I'm gonna make a them shirt. Shit. I mean, I can't make a them shirt. I don't have a license, but I'm making a giant ant shirt. And there's going to be <laughs> one kid out there just like me who's going to find it and go, holy shit, somebody has a them shirt. I'm going to get this. Yes. Maybe I'll just call it they. <laughs> there you go. 
quite modern. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I could get away with that. I don't have the license. To, I don't know what. I don't even know how I would go to obtain a license for Monster Legion to do them shirts. But I would totally. I would. That would be like the one I'd want, which is probably nobody else wants. Oh, that's it's a good idea. I say you look into it. I should look into it. <laughs> But that would that's a perfect segue into your endeavor, Monster Legion. Let's talk a little bit about this. I just did a search for horror. them shirt, and all I get is pronoun t shirts, and I'm a little disappointed, <laughs> though I support people making those shirts, but yeah, that's a little disappointing. Maybe you could do a crossover. Yeah. I gotta think of something. Of but the yes. them, they shirt. Yeah. Monster <laughs> Legion. Them logo. Yeah. Discuss it. Tell us more about it, guys. Well, I'll start and then I'll let Valerie pick it up because so I've been doing art and conventions for a long time, Uh, you know, in and out. uh, Just, you know, I draw posters and fan art. I used to do original art and then everybody was like, nobody bought that. So then I tried to do fan art and that sold better. And I was doing like obscure movies and different things because I liked it. And then like touching on horror and I started realizing, okay, maybe horror works a little bit better. But um, earlier this year, as everybody knows, or you guys know, but maybe no people listening, I had a uh, pretty massive stroke uh, in the spring and it kind of put me under for a while. Um, But there was a convention coming up when I was kind of, on the mend and i was thinking about i was like can i handle this because i you know for for a long time i'd get really exhausted there's a lot of little issues um that came in the wake of that but valerie was like well i'll help you we could do this together and i was like oh that'd be awesome this would be great and so i got all my stuff together i pulled it all out of storage and then we i kind of organized it and then you know Then we went to the convention and she brought some cosplay and it was really cool. And and it was in Stockton, which I know is not, you know, it's, it's actually a great place. The people put on the convention is a great place. Everybody there is awesome. Um, It's a smaller convention, but pretty big for being a quote unquote, smaller convention. So it was awesome. And at one point I'm doing okay. You know, it's okay. It's first time back. I'm I'm handling it. I feel good about it. And then I look at Valerie like all stoked and I, and then she turns to me and she's like, "This is a fucking mess. You're a mess. What the what are you doing? This is terrible." And I was like, "What do you mean?" She's like, "You hold shit like and bend it. You fuck everything up. It's not organized. It's like it's all over the place." She's like, "You got like five different styles of posters back here. None of this makes any sense." I was like, yeah. She's like, that actually started the night before when I asked you where your cash box was and you just blankly looked at me and realized you didn't have a cash box and you hadn't thought about how you were going to take payments the next I mean, morning. I mean, I had a phone, you know, I could do square and stuff. I, I had something. But anyway, so initially she said that she was going to help me out and try and organize this and you know, we talked about, she's like, you know, horror, you should lean into that. That seems to be what you love. And that seems to be what everybody at the convention was responding the most to. And there wasn't a lot there. Because, you know, it's like, I, I don't, I don't want to draw Batman when, when like four tables down, there's a guy who professionally draws Batman. Right. Right. You know, it's like, yeah, I don't want to be another like, oh, here's another Batman. And that's the so one it's... thing that kind of sucks about like monster palooza i mean it's you know variety is cool but you see like a bazillion of the same thing like right next to each other and it's uh all right you don't see any them you ain't seen them don't you don't because i would have bought it last time last time i went there was no them Mm -mm. or even a they Um, so anyway, I'll let her take. So uh, I think, how did it? How did it happen? Did I go on tour and like we were? Yeah, well, I had to run to FedEx one of those mornings because he didn't have any idea of how much inventory he had. He sold out of a lot of stuff, so I had to go get them reprinted. And yeah, it was a total mess. But while he was on tour, uh, his online store was also a mess. The big cartel store. 
that he was using. Uh, so I decided to build him a brand new store in Shopify while he was on tour and surprise him with it. Surprise. Yeah, yeah I came <laughs> back and all of a sudden I was like, whoa, this is awesome. <laughs> like, like, do I have to pay you for this? Yeah, no, I told you, I was like, I can't afford you. You just have to not drive me crazy <laughs> by being unorganized. <laughs> that's a so we now a have a brand sometimes. new. It also helped that like I wanted to rebrand under a whole name. Uh, it felt like the right thing to do. And I had had this uh, Instagram that I had made uh, for, of all things, like Warhammer figures and stuff called Monster Legion. And when we were talking about what we should call this new thing, all of a sudden I went, wait, no way. So like I looked up the dot com and it was like, it was free. I go, nobody had taken Monster Legion. And I was like, oh my God, that name is like the best name ever. This is perfect. And so, yeah, it's this, uh, since then, now we have an entire uh, horror merchandise company that I'm, we're building. I mean, it's still very new and like we're, we're still building it up, but I'm really excited about it. Um, right now, I'm trying to think of a good Valentine's Day design to put out there. And, uh, you know, um, it does. Uh, it, we're getting ready i'm getting ready to start doing conventions again but it's uh it's been going really well i mean online it's a building process but like immediately after rebranding under the stuff uh like sales shot up at conventions and stuff uh valerie started making um sublimation uh designs and prints i'll let her talk about this part but like because you guys do like a whole bunch of stuff though earrings fucking cups mugs like all kinds of stuff yeah i'm kind of I'm kind of trying to figure out what i like to make uh right sublimation printing heat pressing stuff uh yeah just trial and error there yeah i feel yeah. it the mug market is surprisingly uh cluttered saturated everywhere. it's saturated. saturated there it is Dude, everyone there. has too many mugs including <laughs> us yeah. there are a lot of mugs but yeah. people still fucking buy them like quick yeah. story so i got oobs a uh a gift that i bought I online you're gonna say it Damn. no 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 no. that i ma- had it mailed to her but it's a mug no th- okay. that th- it brings me to the mug um but yeah well first of all so i ordered this thing and i'm like okay cool it says it'll be there by like the 14th or 15th and then i get an email that went to like one of my spam folders a few days ago that was like your money's been refunded. Like no reason why my order was canceled and they refunded my money. So I emailed them. So I'm waiting back to hear from them. But so I'm like, fuck, well, she needs something because this is bullshit. So and the first first thing that pops in my head is I should get her a Nicolas Cage mug. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't. But like a mug is like the first thing I thought of because everyone likes mugs. And People there's always like some liquid. random shit you could put, you could print on it. So mugs. Yeah. I mean, we had a lot of success with like earrings. I mean, even keychains. It's just sort of interesting. Like the, the difference between the convention that she did with me, where she looked at me and said, like, you're a mess versus the convention we did after we got started. I was like looking at it going, Oh shit, this is like another level. So <laughs> it was like, I, I didn't, I, I don't, I don't know. Like people like were like, how'd business. you come up with this design? And I was like, I just drew the werewolf. She put got nards on it. It was awesome. And now you're buying it. So <laughs> like peanut butter and jelly. It was it was really cool. So Ben and Jake. It's been it's been adventure time for sure. It's Hell been yeah. cool. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm looking forward to doing more conventions again. Teamwork um, makes a dream work. Yeah, I'd love to be on Monster Palooza. That would be amazing. Or son of Monster Palooza. I kind of yeah. want to go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think that has like a win. Yeah, they're always it's always especially like Monster Palooza because it's so fucking stupid big now. Yeah, but some Monster Palooza is still cool and still like accessible and not crazy packed. So you should do that one. Definitely gonna try. Probably be cheaper too. MonsterLegion.com. That's uh that's that's the site and then there's uh Instagram and 
Everyone should just give it a follow. Uh, we we post stuff all the time. We Do post, it. Post. Yeah, and you know, maybe at some point I'm going to figure out how to get a hold of the license for them, <laughs> and maybe somebody will let me do a T-shirt because I totally would wear that shirt. And then it'd be the same. It'd be the thing. I'd pay for this license and I'd put it out, and I'd be so excited about the shirt, and then it'd be me wearing it, and everyone would be like, I didn't "I'd I'd wear one, Dom. Giant ants. I sell two. Yeah. <laughs> I'd buy one." And then you buy one, and then we would walk around with our big ant shirt. Hell yeah! Also, I will admit that it is tough because, like, I have to put something next to the ant; otherwise, you won't know it's a big ant. You'll just think it's an ant shirt, and somebody would be like, "Oh, it's from a museum or little, you know, little, a little tiny car." Just yeah, put a dime car. or a dime yeah. <laughs> with but an yeah, arrow a scale. That's dimes are always the same way, size, guys. I'm gonna figure Make out a way. all the fun you want. You got anything I support, else? Well, to add, I, I support a potential them movie, like as long as they do it justice. And uh, yeah, I mean, got to be better. I like him. Though. Yeah, he's good. He he did a good job with Werewolf by Night, but except for it was a superhero movie. Yeah, so. superhero movie. <laughs> which, we don't like those. At no, Candy. I like some of them, but just not just many of them. Of shit. Um. <laughs> Breathing exercise. <laughs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Um, yeah, I don't know. I want it to be good because I'll be real sad if it sucks. Yeah. I mean, I want to say more about Werewolf by Night as part of this episode. But yeah. I guess we're still in the news segment, so I'm not going to say yeah. anything. Thinking, yeah, same. Like, yeah. What, we'll <laughs> just do that later. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll come back to this. But what's yeah. Everyone... What say you? What say you, Valerie, about Monster Legion, them, they ants in their scale i i definitely think you should make that shirt it sounds great even if you're the only one who has one i think i'm the only one who has the gotnard shirt uh people did buy the mugs but the shirt it's just me so far (laughs) i thought it was hilarious so i don't care it is yeah yeah i'm surprised i mean i'm not surprised that the mugs go but i don't know maybe it's because Everyone has so many shirts at this point in their life. Yeah, there's that too. But I've definitely seen people laugh at it. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a great design. When I I wear it, yeah. Nice. But yeah, I look at my fucking drawers. I'm like, oh my God, I have too many t-shirts. But I keep buying them because I'm fucking stupid. But Me too. I'm pretty stupid. Yeah. So yeah, people buy the fucking shirt. I think I'm fine. (laughs) We keep making our own. (laughs) That's that's an issue. It could get dangerous. Mm-hmm. Well, we know. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. I, th- I think I think we've beaten horror news to death. So that was horror news. It's horror news. All right, everybody. I like I like that Shotzi still maintains the horror news echo on the show. That's that's appropriate. Well, yeah. I mean, you know. If mm-hmm. if she if she can rip off our stuff, even though she's not a part of the show, <laughs> we'll still use her voice. Shots <laughs> Whatever. fired. Big shots fired. I have, I have seen her her Instagram post, and I, and I do feel like Monster Candy did did help pave. You the think? Way. You th- I mean, we still love her, but you know, I am always one to call a spade a spade. <laughs> well, I have to say that I watched her. Her year in review, and it prompted me into seeing a movie that I had already decided I wasn't going to see. And although we love Shotzi on this podcast, she can go fuck herself with that <laughs> one because yeah. I just wasted <laughs> my damn time. Ooh, was, I want to know which one that so, is. <laughs> and the main character was so fucking annoying. I yeah. actually, what movie like, is this? Are we going to talk I had about problem- it? Later? I had problems going to sleep that night because I was so agitated that I had to listen to his voice for an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah, we'll talk about it. I mean, okay. I, I okay. guess all right. a great segue right. to go into. We need to get into right. this. So, this all right, yeah. We get right in. Do, yeah. do we, do we want to do what our best was first or our worst? We should start with worst. Okay. We need a palate cleanse after we talk about right. some of the shit shows. All right, good idea, good idea. Who? All right. Ubliya, you want to go first? Well, I mean, do we each just say one and pass it around and come back around? Or oh, however, no, let's I mean, talk about yours. And then, yeah, you know. but then I feel like it's um, if you do do kind of like one and pass it around, it 
it's like less of a chance someone else might have yours because they don't go all at once. That I would have whatever you want to do. Like you could beat them to it. We may have the same bad ones. Maybe I'm not. sure we we'll probably have. Well, any any time we've ever done this stuff, like me, Dom, and Shotzi would have at least one of something that's the same. We're like, yeah, that's on mine. Anytime we do these lists, so whatever. Yeah. Just just um, gun it and run it. So the um new Hellraiser. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yep. I'll just go ahead and start with the one that's gonna piss people off. I found it to be so fucking boring that I barely We need to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if it was just me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For, for those of you so, uh, that can't see, because this is an audio <laughs> podcast, Valerie just picked a hole in the wall. <laughs> At the, at I haven't name. finished that movie. I've tried twice. No, she agrees. I, yeah, that's no, what I'm saying. I, yeah, it triggered. And her that I thought much. there were reasons, but maybe not. Maybe the reason no, the movie so, sucks. Yeah, no. But, I mean, so when I was reading the reasons people liked it, I was like, I would like a movie for those reasons too. So I got excited to watch it, and it was. I fell asleep twice, and I don't nap usually. So I fell asleep the first thing. time. <laughs> yeah and then i like woke up in that kind of end scene and there was like dark corridors and they were coming out of them and there was some shit that happened <laughs> i don't know i just i could not i could not fucking and that that was one of shotzi's top 10 too i felt and when that, that was surprising to me but yeah i i couldn't get into it and i love like from the first one to like the shitty outer space ones to whatever. Like I usually if it's got the Hellraiser characters, I even like some of the animated stuff. I'll watch it even if they bastardize the original, but this, like, I don't even know. It was like national treasure for money. I don't know what it was. It, it was like the Disney version <laughs> of Hellraiser. Wow. It's weird. Yeah. It's like not, like I am the only one here who <laughs> mildly enjoyed this movie. I mean, it's I mean, not my like, top five, but it was a solid movie. I, yeah, I, I mean, really it wasn't the design, but it was slow. Yeah, it was slow. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't like absolute dog shit, but as far as like the Hellraiser franchise go, like it was just a complete departure of what Hellraiser is. Like it's dark and slimy and sexual and fucking gritty. Where this was. Like pretty and beautiful and not a lot going on. Yeah. That was the one positive I had for it was that I thought it was beautiful and yeah, I yeah, couldn't figure out why I couldn't cool. pay attention. I tried to rewatch <laughs> it today and I just wandered off and yeah, I didn't. It's I gave up. I, she, she came to me. I don't and she's blame like, you. I can't watch this movie and I was like, that's okay. And she's like, no, I can't. I mean, I know I have ADHD. <laughs> Yeah. But like, that one crazy. is, yeah, that no, it's it was so boring. <laughs> it's well, so yeah, fucking boring. I mean, it's like if you were gonna make Pinhead really beautiful, and I know in the books, like it's he's he's supposed to be some like androgynous. You don't know, right? The Hell Priest is more. This is a more probably accurate to the book, right. book for the Hell Priest, right? I mean, I think they are they are always beautiful in every movie, so I don't really give a fuck about whether it's a female or male. It was boring. Right. It was boring. It was. But the so, the visual if and that, the design if that was of the it, first Hellraiser movie, there would have never been a second. Agreed. I don't think they're gonna continue. I mean maybe they are, but I, I don't know. The visual design of the movie, I agree, was fantastic. The the redesign of the Cenobites, I thought, was really excellent. The thing I liked, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that made it through the movie to know this, the way they made the lament configuration, <laughs> how it had Depends different... Which part. <laughs> uh, it had different forms, the puzzle, and each of those forms that represented cool. a different thing. And then when you yeah, yeah. were able to have your wish granted by the Cenobites, it was related to which configuration you wanted to put itself in, and that resulted in a particular uh, outcome. And the outcome was up to them. Right to what they the to what they would do, and uh, I thought that was all of those things were great, but I can't deny the fact that I watched my girlfriend fall asleep and then get frustrated watching it, and then why one of my best friends in the world is like, "Dude, same thing," <laughs> and then he's like, "Yeah, slow." 
uh <laughs> so it's like yeah i i acknowledge that it uh it plodded along a bit but I, I I am the minority in this discussion. I, like no, also thing. when I went to look it up, I asked you, you know, it's how, what's the Hellraiser movie called, the new one? And you said Hellraiser. I said, what's what's the like tagline? Like what what else? And you said, no, it's just called Hellraiser. And I said, what are they rancid? You can't have two self titled <laughs> albums. Like <laughs> that makes it impossible oh. to Google. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> so now you have to Google like, Hellraiser twenty twenty two. Yeah. yeah. I think it's Hellraiser 2022, really. It's what I probably should have said. I, of, yeah, I think they should have done something there, too. That was lazy. It was a little lazy. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. like eh, Hellraiser. Yeah, that well, works. It's, it's some cheek. <laughs> it's actually some cheek. You're like, no, it's Hellraiser. <laughs> and yeah. so you get a lot of people already going like, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure that's Hellraiser? I think this seems like a new thing. <laughs> One of my biggest issues with it, though, was... The hat pins that Pinhead had in oh, yeah, her head. The, they were like sewing pins. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I used to have a bunch of these when I owned the shop. I'm like, you this. You do a vintage clothing store for anyone who doesn't know this. Yeah. And I'm like, that doesn't look, that doesn't strike fear in me. That's like, well, why do they, why does she have a bunch of hat and or clothing pins sticking out of out of their head? Like nails were like, like oh fuck this thing has nails coming out like stuck in its head. They Where... like to sew in the uh, in the, their before <laughs> four time. I don't know, but yeah, okay. I agree. I think all right. we all agree, Juliet. I mean, mostly well... agree. <laughs> I acknowledge the complaint. <laughs> I liked the movie. I think yeah. it's worth watching if you can stay awake for it. I did, and I enjoyed <laughs> <That's>... it. <laughs> Just make sure you take a good nap in the afternoon, and then get yourself an energy drink and some sugar. <laughs> Go ahead and pop on the new. This Hell is Razor. a three fourths <laughs> agree with a <laughs> asterisk acknowledgement from me that I understand that it's <laughs> All right, um, okay. Valerie, what uh, what was your worst? I'm not even gonna say Hellraiser. <laughs> love people uh smile okay i know that a lot of people put that Mm. at the top of their list and that's actually why i made it a point to watch it today because i hadn't seen it i watched it earlier today i want that two hours of my life back first of all two hours why was it two hours long it was such a long movie yeah yeah we uh it was not we you know as we discussed on on our previous one it was not one of my favorite movies entertaining i liked it i did like it people from pittsburgh will probably not like this particular horror movie (laughs) no (laughs) i I feel like if you're gonna do the whole like uh psych ward thing you have to not make it such a bummer like it was it was just sad you know It, it was just a really sad movie i thought most of the movie was sad yeah, I can and also see I had to use "Does the dog die?" Uh, <laughs> to check to see if the cat dies. Right, and I found out the cat did die. Wow! And yeah. although you don't see it, yeah, not cool. Not cool. I don't like when <laughs> animals die. When I watch horror movies, I want to watch people die. <laughs> God damn! The ending humans. was pretty solid. The des- creature design. The all of that was pretty awesome. It another one I have to say took a long time to get there. Right. I don't even see, like where I, I see I miss all the old school dumb bodied jump scares like that one had, like the neck hanging down and all that. That's why I like that movie. Cause I saw it in the theater and it actually made me jump, and I don't think I jump have jumped in a movie in the theater for like years. A lot of jump and scares. That's why I think I yeah. liked it. Yeah. I, I agree with and and I thought that it. the actress did a really good job when she yeah. can agree like, with those things. Go back to doctor from being like unstable. Like when she pulls it together, her face almost looked completely like a different person than when she was kind of like spiraling out. Kevin Bacon's daughter, yeah. Yes, yes, I was going to say yeah. that. That's that was interesting, mm-hmm. but yeah. yeah, hated it. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> she was like yelling at the screen, like "Fuck <laughs> this!" Like what the fuck? 
Yeah, I would have turned it off if I didn't feel like I had to see it because one of my friends actually has been bothering me to talk to me <laughs> about it uh, for a while now. If I didn't feel like I had to finish it, I would have turned it off. That's how much I disliked it. I wouldn't have blamed you. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Yeah. percent of people from Pittsburgh <laughs> will not, do not like this movie. Yeah, it wasn't my favorite. Um, Dominic. Let's Fuck get- Scream. Why did you guys have me watch that <laughs> fucking movie? It was so dumb, and everybody sucks its dick. All t- this whole fucking, t- I see it on fucking lists everywhere, and I'm like, really, <laughs> really. And I remember you two defended this fucking movie when I came back on the show and did this, and I was like, okay, yeah, sure. The fucking discussions were insipid in the first one too, but they were better actors, and it was a better job. And I like Jenna Ortega. I love her in Wednesday. I like her. I was about to movie. say he's about to, <laughs> but like. Prop what the up. fuck? You <laughs> that your fucking Courtney Cox stabbed in the fucking stomach and just fucking sits there. Everybody forgets it. And fucking Nev Campbell takes a fucking shot in the chest. It's like nobody. Oh, I'm fine. I'm just sitting here on the fucking ambulance being septic. It was sloppy. It was bullshit. And then I found out the guy who directed it was somebody I really like. I like his other shit. And I'm like, I don't know where the fuck no, his head was at. And I don't know why everybody sucks this movie dick. But fuck Scream. <laughs> Not the original. The original's fantastic. But this one, come on. Like, yeah, he and I went into the theater really <laughs> wanting to like it, and they gave us posters on the way in. And I said, "Huh, I hope this doesn't suck, so I don't want to hang this poster up." And here we I are. I didn't like it either. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I- yeah, we have really cool posters. I mean, it just says "Scream," so it could be for "Scream." It doesn't say "Scream 2022," but you know in your heart what movie it is. Man, Scream. <laughs> Wait, did they do that too? Did they? Was that just yep. called Scream? Yeah. 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 Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Two self-titled albums. Oh, yeah. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, yep. there was a few this year. There. You, let me this just say. Year. Let me just say, 2022 was like the year of mediocre movies, especially mm-hmm. horror movies. Like there was. That's what was crazy. It was yeah. like the year that horror came back to the big screen. Sometimes in my local theater, there was two playing at once, only in a few screen theater, and fucking none were great. Yeah, it was like mm, they were all like, "Meh, we're bad." Like there, I was, <laughs> I couldn't. When I was trying to to get this list, I'm like, "What movies even fucking came out this year?" Because I, none of them are really memorable. I mean, there are some that are memorable. I have, I, I have a list but, of ones I like that I, and yeah. I really. Um, I'm, I'm I'm ready to go. I'm ready to fight for them. So yeah, but I was like, "All right, let me go through this list." And there's over 1,600 horror movies put out this year, which is a lot. <laughs> I mean, most, you know, I'm sure there's a shit ton every year that n- most people don't hear about. But I was just scrolling and I'm like, Jesus Christ, there's more. There's another page. Fuck. Um, mine has to be Halloween Ends. I didn't even watch it. Dude, it's so <laughs> bad. Like, so bad. I watched the trailer, <laughs> and I and I read uh, a synopsis, and I was like, "Oh, I, I am not gonna like it." It, it this this was, was like that, yeah. this was like a three way tie for the worst. It was either gonna be this. The movie that we actually, me and Uglia did a podcast on, did an episode on, but never released it because I just literally went scene by scene and told the whole movie. And I was like, this is fucking terrible to listen to. <laughs> and it's a bad movie. And it's Speak movies? No Evil. Oh. It's on Shudder. Oh. Yeah. It's so bad. I like well, the movie. The last so 10 bad. seconds was good. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it. Or you Texas Chainsaw the Massacre. episode because it was so bad. I love <laughs> that that happened, that you guys are like, it's so bad. Our episode is bad. You, I just, there's nothing <laughs> to talk about. Like, it's just dumb. I, yeah, I said it. I'm like, ugh. But anyway, but Halloween ends just because it did absolutely nothing for the franchise. Like, What's his nuts? I, f- I forget the director's name, his his three name name. Um, I read something recently, like after all the fucking 
critiques of it and backlash kind of like what the fuck david gordon and, green yeah and he was talking about how well we wanted to i wanted to do something different with it and kind of make it my own thing and blah blah blah. i'm like that's the complete opposite of why everyone liked 2018's halloween and why you wanted to do that because it was like a proper direct sequel to the first one it was just the regurgitated storyline which everyone loves that's what everyone wanted to see that's why you did it so now you're three movies in so you're like yeah you know getting my feet a little bit i want something of my own like that's not the fucking point it not to mention just the plot of the whole thing like you could have cut the entire middle out of it and just went from the beginning to the end and it would have been a thousand times better but yeah and the one thing i i mean i guess you get this in every kind of little community it's all subjective and people put a lot of hard work into doing this stuff i get it and i'm you know good for them i i totally approve and support people doing their own thing and getting their own shit out there but when there's like canon and there's a whole franchise built on it and you know keep stay in that lane don't go off and like i want to make something my own that's not yours then go write your own fucking movie like don't shit on something because you're you want to nice. try and make what's that you're being too fucking nice you're being uh, too fucking nice this is they started so strong with their uh, 2018 movie halloween dude. it's so good so good so much better than it had any right to be. Right. And then I I watched, it was like watching a plane crash in slow motion. Mm -hmm. Like where they just sort of lost the thread of, I feel like what must have happened is uh, everyone threw too much money at them to keep it going. And they just weren't ready to keep it going. Like they had this great idea for this great sequel that did it so right. And then they just... They're like, here's more money. Keep going. And they're like, uh, and oh, it's dude, just like total money grab because the 2018 one was the wrap up of the franchise. He burns to yes. death. The house falls on him. Like, that's it. And like that's Rancid, the end. two self-titled albums. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this, Done. This is apparently the theme. Everybody right? wants to just, just say, fuck it. Confuse uh. everybody. But, but yeah, so I was like, because this had so much weight behind it and so much more to prove or to lose, I'm like, this has to be the worst because it was a completely pointless fucking movie to the franchise. It did nothing to further the story except, oh, add some other weird bullshit in to make more money to keep it going. It just I, I have enjoyed all of the money grabs that they have done under the Halloween name, but I only own two. I own the first one and 2018. Right. And I, I mean, I'll watch David Pleasant, but David, David, Donald Pleasant. Pleasant. Donald Pleasant. Thanks. Yeah. I'll watch him throughout that whole series. He's awesome. And I, Season of the Witch, I, I love that alternate, that crazy yeah. one when they tried to go, they tried to zig. That's a great movie. I know that nobody else liked it at the time, but everyone likes it now, and that's great. I wish everybody had been there when it happened so they <laughs> keep doing crazy Halloween movies. But, like, I mean, Halloween yeah. Kills was okay, but worse in the in the wake of that great one in 2018. And then by the time we got to Halloween Ends, I just lost interest. And then oh, everything I heard about it just didn't pull me in. <laughs> I mean, if you ever want to put yourself through some misery and watch it like it might be fun <laughs> for you two to watch it and just talk shit about it the entire time be like what the fuck but yeah there's a mystery just... science theater it i would i would stream yeah. it with you guys and comment on it during the oh we could totally it. do that like i'd be down for that um oh, but live yeah stream yeah. <laughs> yeah but like yeah dude it's such a just a bummer of a fucking movie with pointless characters introduced that you know oh that don't even make it through the whole fucking movie like you're like oh okay he's the new michael myers oh he's dead he's not oh now 
Michael Myers comes back and you finally kill him. What the fuck was the point of this other jag off in the fucking movie? Like just to fill up an hour <laughs> worth of fucking time. After Halloween kills, I I just yeah. like that's it. That those are the bookends. I just care Halloween and Halloween. Yeah. Perfect. Why do, do this? Why do they do this, Valerie? You're right. Halloween and Halloween. Okay. Yeah. But that's yeah, no. Yeah. But. So yeah, that that's my worst movie. Does anyone have any honorable mentions for worst worst movies? Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys hit on my others. I yeah. Do. Um, that freaking shark movie, The Reef. Oh stopped. yeah. <laughs> that was a, and I love cheesy shark movies. And the first Reef was fine, but this was the biggest pile of shit. Like yeah. nothing fucking happened. It was so, <laughs> so dumb. It's laughable. Like I don't know why it's... I watched the whole thing. I was just hoping that something was going to happen. And then and you then watched she... it too, didn't yeah, you? You made me. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you watch. Ubliet watches it and is like, "This movie is fucking terrible." Hey E, watch this movie. Like you should totally watch it. Okay. It's like I know. He's like, this is it worth it? I'm smelly. like, yeah. <laughs> this tastes <laughs> terrible. It. Try it. Yeah. Call, call in sick to work. You need to watch it right <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. I almost I spit water that. out. I forget how many bad movies I force other people to watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 kind of my thing. Yeah, it's your thing. I've accepted it. <laughs> I've been like, all right, I'll indulge. There's been a couple good ones I've sent your way though. Yes. And they just they're harder to remember because the bad ones have been so bad. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? I, um, I'll throw a, a, an honorable mention that yeah. I found incredibly disappointing. And I was actually I kept I kept seeing it was like it's like a situation. I felt like a woman in a situation. Room. Where you just see red flags and you ignore them and you keep keep hoping because you're like maybe maybe it's gonna be okay maybe it's gonna be okay so I just ignore the red flags and I just There's, keep going and then I watch the monsters and yeah. it was just I was so bummed because it was there's a cuteness to it mm-hmm. but it just didn't like some things landed like the guy who played grandpa fucking he nailed it he came to work he came to work and he was ready and he he stole every scene he was in uh and i thought he was hilarious but everybody else i mean everyone else was cute like i'll I'll give him that it was cute but it was like and i know i watched the monsters i'm not i didn't have crazy expectations or weird things and you know and i i i have I have a love hate with Rob Zombie. Like I want him to do something that I like, but he keeps not doing it. But I yeah. want him to, and I keep hoping he will. And I see, like, even in this, I saw signs of things like he his direction that I'm like, oh, that was kind of cool. You're almost there. But monsters, man, like it just was like it kind of was like a dull. It was a lot of hype, and it was just a dull thud. It was just like. Mm-hmm. I, you know, yeah. and I like the cheesy like '60s, like "Hey, man!" You know, it's like I was fine with that. It's just, yeah, he. It's like we d- we discussed this when uh we did this movie, but it, it, he can capture kind of the feeling of stuff. Like the whimsy was there, like the feeling of it was, but the execution just never really hits. I think and some then, of the acting was really yeah. not great. Well, we we um, all know we all know why and who. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't <laughs> want to be a dick, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, God bless her yeah, heart. We hear, but, we hear you. We hear you. <laughs> yeah, but we all know, and good for him for always. I like her. her. Up. I like her in movies. I like her. I like she's not the best actress, but she's cool. She's got a coolness factor to it. But oh, she's too not old as Lily. That. Yeah, not she's as Lily. Old. I know Lily's a hundred years old, but still. Yeah. Like, oh, man. 
It yeah. was dumb. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to love it. It had all the things that I would have like. Uh-huh. It was like all the ingredients that I love, and then they put it oh, together. Yeah. This, no, I don't like it. Yep. I mean, it wasn't like the worst, but it was just like, ugh, okay. It's, it's an awesome it, it almost sometimes is the worst when something is like almost there, but they just drop the ball and you're like, you almost had it, but you <laughs> didn't. <laughs> you know? no. What about you, Val? Anything else that is worth mentioning that stunk up the joint? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I have some <laughs> random issues with other movies, but we'll probably get to those. No, I, I think you guys hit on all of them. Yeah, she's got some laser focus. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, okay, I'm I'm gonna fucking bogart this and go go first with the best. And this was a tough one too, because I'm like, Jesus Christ, there's not a lot of good movies. I am really from. curious what you're gonna pick. Um my favorite mm-hmm. of 2022, mm-hmm. my best, Silver Bullet. That's my that's my you best. You can't pick that <laughs> oh, every, every time. time. <laughs> no, I mean... but my best did have a werewolf involved, and he became a werewolf by night. I knew it. And that you motherfucker. See, uh-huh. you love it. You love it so much. It's a good movie. And like I said, and I mean, it was fun. It wasn't too long. It was a good monster movie slash superhero movie, like comic book thing, black and white, which I till this fucking day drives me insane. Why more people, especially horror directors, don't do that because it works so fucking well. And, you know. I thought it was a fucking really well done movie and it might not be specifically horror, but it has a fucking werewolf in it. So it falls. It's horror. Yeah. It's horror. It's horror done by Disney and Marvel. I, I'm a huge fan of werewolf by night, the comic. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have the digital collections of the run. Right. Uh, and uh, it's ironic for being the, the first appearance of moon Knight happened in mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of it and I love their interpretation. And it's like, I'm hoping this opens the door for more of the horror uh, leaning comics uh, and stuff characters, which it sounds like it is because they are going to do a blade. They are doing Black Knight was teased in and appeared in a the eternal uh, the uh, is it Eternals? No. What was it called? I don't know. In one of the movies. I don't remember now. Um, but Black Knight, like they're they're suggesting, and then with the success of Werewolf by Night, I'm hoping that they'll ease into that direction. Man Thing was awesome. Mm-hmm. I never thought I'd see that in a live action. Right. Yeah. I mean, I I we all enjoyed it. You know, I had my little issues with it just about the design of the werewolf. It was a little weird looking to me, but nothing that I couldn't look past because the movie was just well directed. And I like, I wasn't a fan or even knew much about like the comic book at all, which is funny because every time I go back home, I rummage through my junk in my parents' house and I have a shit ton of Moon Knight comics that I didn't know I had. Like, I remember I had one. (laughs) And every time I go back, I'm like, where did these come from? Well, in the 70s, Marvel like opened up like a whole horror market and leaned yeah. heavily into it. So I'm really interested to in see where they go with this and if they'll start hitting it more. But we'll see. But like, I mean, it's easy to dismiss it as kind of superhero-y. I, I heard you guys reference it. But I mean, it's me- it was meant to be Marvel horror. Yeah. You know, that's, you know, like, they, yeah it's they, not a superhero movie. I mean, it. Yeah. It's in the superhero movie. universe. If, yeah, especially, but like yeah. all of it is. So are you. So are we. <laughs> and you're so, not a superhero. I, I backed you that know. pick even though it was a short movie. It was an hour. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. Picked an hour. It's like a novella of a movie. A short, yeah. short, short film. Yeah. I mean, I enjoyed it. Um, but I, my favorite probably would have been the mean one if I could have fucking found it anywhere to watch it yeah i can't find it either which one like 
the mean one. The mean it was one. the horror version of the Grinch at Soul Christmas. Mm. The terrifier guy is the Grinch. Yeah. Like it was in some theaters in some places and then that's it. Like mm-hmm. not streaming online, nothing. And I'm like, what the fuck? For me, Christmas belonged to Violent Night, so like Violent see Night I didn't fun. Yeah. But it was more of an action movie to me yeah. than a horror movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, I couldn't decide if that should count, but I loved it regardless. If you got- it was stupid. Yeah. I mean, it's listed it. under horror movies. If you guys didn't see the uh, Christmas Bloody Christmas is on Shudder, that's mm-hmm. a Christmas not movie yet. that's worth checking out. I mean, it's not great, but it's entertaining for what it is. Um, that's the Terminator one, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, we started watching that. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember why we couldn't finish it, but like it wasn't because we didn't like it. It was probably me. It was cool <laughs> colors, and it was like the the dialogue was cool. I thought it was a fun movie. I I liked what I saw. Yeah, it's like a schlock horror. I meant to yeah. finish it, and, yeah. and, and I liked it. But yeah, it was, but my honorable mention yeah, was would be Terrifier Two, which still wasn't one of my. I didn't like it a whole lot, but it was fun and entertaining. Wish we could clip the parts out that we wanted yeah. to, and then it would be like it'd be a good solid. movie. Yeah, it awesome. seemed like we we didn't get to watch Terrifier two because we realized we both had slept on Terrifier, and I couldn't believe that we both had. To, so we watched Terrifier first, which right. well, it's I, I liked a lot. Um, yeah, it, it's and, definitely a different movie. It's yeah. But then we, we were gonna try and watch Terrifier two today. <laughs> after smile Valerie was like that movie's two hours long what the fuck do they have to say in two hours it's like I'm not watching that yeah it's it needed I... like 35 minutes cut out yeah, yeah I get sure. angry when movies are over an hour and a half long Just... yeah there's no reason for them to be really that any longer than that um it, it's the leader quote was what are you fucking Lord of the Rings yeah um I I would kind of say it it's got like a Evil Dead and Evil Dead Two type of vibe, like from the first one to the second one. The second one's a yeah same movie, but it's way different in feeling and and everything. So I think you guys will like it, and probably not like the parts that don't need to be in it, like like we don't. But yeah, that's my honorable mention. Okay. All right, Valerie, what's what what's your favorite? What was your best movie? of Okay, I'm going to start with a funny story. And I had to change my favorite because we are idiots. Um, (laughs) Obviously, we had a difficult year. uh, And a movie that we thought came out this year came out last year. Uh, Dom, did you know that Hellbender came out last year? Not this year. Or 2021, not 2022. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah, Yeah. neither did I. Time's not real. For this year, too. That sucks. That was going to be my favorite, but apparently it came out in 2021. Yeah, but you Time know, doesn't exist. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. It's a construct. But I can change it, uh, and I did change it, oddly enough, to Werewolf by Night. All right. You know I love a short movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was great. Like the, It was the perfect length, and it was beautiful. I love the black and white. Like, it just, it was, I, I thought it was perfect. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, agreed. That was when I saw it was like 59 minutes. I'm like, are you yes. shitting me? <laughs> yes. This is awesome. And when we talked about it, like I said, it's it hit the ground running. It was set up just like a 50s fucking or a 40s or a 30s, you know, stage play horror movie. It was just like bang, bang, bang. Here, Here's the stuff. Here's all you need. And let's get on with it. And like I mentioned that it felt like I wonder if they're going to make it a series because it felt like, you know, an episode kind of had that feel with the end. Yeah. Yeah. But cool. And I guess honorable mentions go to X. And Uh, X was definitely an honorable mention. Pearl and Barbarian. Barbarian for being the only one that made me actually scream out loud. (laughs) Was, when, when, was it the breastfeeding? No, it was one of the, one of the jump scare cave tunnel it was, it was when the uh I mother monster 
character Kate was coming closer and closer in the dark. Oh, it the- was during, yeah, when the flashlight was breaking and it turned right. into kind of a strobe light. So she was coming closer in the strobe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I actually screamed. Uh, it was, that was pretty great. But you had a problem. I have, with- I have some things to say about that movie. <laughs> you should say it. You should say it. That That's worth, this is. The end of it, it, that, it defies it- physics. You can't. Well, yeah. Spoil it. For everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Are we allowed to do oh, spoilers? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. We, yeah. I, I, I don't think okay, we've Okay. So if one person gets spoilers. pushed off of a water tower. Right. And then you dive after them. It right. doesn't matter how much bigger and heavier you are. You cannot catch up to them. You definitely cannot end up underneath of them. Yeah. It's, it's not possible by the laws of physics. And yeah. that killed me. <laughs> well, I love the know. movie otherwise. Mostly. You've never seen Point Break? Yeah, <laughs> but on, and usually I can. Yeah, usually I can. You know, suspend disbelief, but that was. Yeah, I mean, outrageous. yeah, there's there are some things about that movie really, really. But there's enough time. He pushes her, says, "Go get your baby," and then she jumps and somehow ends up underneath her. Just yeah, no, it just didn't need to happen. It could have happened. You know, she could have grabbed onto her. They could have spun. Like it could have just been done completely differently. I thought you were going to say because they killed us, Skarsgård in like the first ten minutes. Because I went in thinking, oh, he's going to be like in the movie a lot longer than he was, but he wasn't. I was like, they oh, Drew Barry Mortem, totally. I was like, yeah. all right. Well, the, that-, that whole movie. I thought this was interesting. That whole movie was a writing exercise first to create a, a scene that or a, a section of a film where the woman ignores all of the obvious red flags that are right. presented and perceived. yeah that was my other issue with it was you know how many red flags she ignored and continued to move yeah. forward and it's just like uh, as a woman no what you're you're not doing that you're not going into an airbnb and <laughs> staying there with a strange guy i mean you would like to think not but in 2022, people have just gotten fucking so dumb. Like everyone's stupid now. And lonely. So maybe you do want to hang out with a stranger. Yeah. Guy. You're like, you know what? I haven't seen anybody in three years. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck it. I <laughs> may die, but. When I would never have thought I'd get in somebody's car <laughs> that I didn't know that just pulled up and then take a ride from them. And now I use a phone to do that. Yeah. And for it yeah i would would have never as a kid i would have like why would i do that stranger danger but that's that's tracked at least you know yeah with lyft i drop the pin and send it to you so you can at least know where i'm being murdered yeah yeah and you know it's good it's good to know certain things like the place of death um (laughs) (laughs) yeah i but i i will i will support you in those grievances Val. Barbarian is a movie, though, we talked about it, that I, I wished I would have seen in the theater, preferably in Oakland, and heard everybody yelling at the screen. Because that yeah. would have been a lot. Yeah, that could have been fun. Yeah. Because I know the Jack London theater was like... Well, was, yeah. I know, like, just watching Because I watched uh, As Above, So Below there. And <laughs> there were so many moments where people well, were yelling out, like... You don't need to do that. There is no don't reason. Don't go in there. Why are you don't, going back in there? Just go home. Didn't we see Midsummer there? No, that was in Alameda. Was it? Did we see it? Mid- yeah, was- Midsummer, oh, where you, myself, and Holtzfeuer just started laughing like it was a comedy <laughs> throughout that movie, and then walked out loving it, but going, I don't know if it was meant to be funny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was. Definitely not meant to be funny, but he pulled it out and be like, "Oh, it's totally I a black movie. comedy." Yeah, I still love that movie, but like, yeah, it's kind of a black comedy, and I don't think it was meant to be, but yeah. now it is. Yeah, like, whatever gets the job done. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, Dom, you got it. You got the mic. What's your worst? My favorite was X. It. Yeah, uh, I, it? I, I, I'm gonna say X. I, that it. There's other movies I really enjoyed. That I don't know if some of the rest of you did, but like I, uh, <laughs> probably pretty obviously, uh, from some of the clues I've gotten this evening. Uh, but X, that was a perfect 
little film to me and I didn't have any complaints. It made me interested and it uh, it was one of those movies that I, I really felt like all the characters were really believable within the world they were in. I enjoyed the reactions. The I enjoyed that it was like like the whole situation. Yeah. Oh, um, just ignore me. Well, <laughs> I I really liked. Uh, I really loved that movie, and uh, I thought it was excellent. Uh, I got to mention that Pearl was excellent in a different way. Uh, it was not not the feet the the solid tight that x was but it was great and its own unique perspective and i'm really looking forward to maxine uh, um which will be the the final film but yeah man i thought that x was good i even love the episode the episode you guys did on it uh i thought you guys did a great job (laughs) with talking about it but uh yeah i thought it was a great film it's because we had a porn star on that helped man (laughs) you know I, I, i often say if i seen your dick I can't wait to hear what you're saying about horror, <laughs> yeah. which is why I listen to E so much. Yeah, right? <laughs> Best Columbus Day ever, E. Seriously. <laughs> I kid. Um, but, or do you? Uh, um, I, yeah. I mean, that that was definitely up there as far as 2022 goes. I just for thought sure. it was fun. It was, it was just as far as this year goes, that was the best horror film, I think, of the year for me. Yeah, I think that was the strongest one, and it made sense why they got the green light to go forward and make more. Because I think if I saw the dailies from that film, and I was like, "Okay, I'm into this. I'm into where you're going." And like uh, Mia Goth, dual dual role, I thought Mm -hmm. she did great. That was that was excellent. It was it was awesome. Yeah, well, like I said, I mean, that was probably like out of the three I was gonna choose from, that was in there. You know, three to five, I was like, yeah, that was one that I, you know, I didn't love everything about it, but it like stood out to me. Like it was good enough to like, I remember it, you know, same with, like I said, Terrifier 2. Like it wasn't great, but it was memorable. You I'm know? a huge fan of Ty West too. Like, I mean, I loved Innkeepers. I thought that's a great haunted house mm-hmm. movie, uh, ghost story. I think, uh, what's it called? Um, the first one he did that that takes place in the eighties, uh, House. Um, I'm gonna have to look it up real quick, but yeah, he's done a couple movies that have just been really good and consistent. House of the Devil. See, I doubted myself. Oh, right. House of the Devil was a great movie. That one was good. Yeah, fully in like the whole effort to just make it eighties. I, you know, that was that was awesome. I thought he did a great job there and I became a fan of his and then immediately seen um, uh, Innkeepers. And then he did another one. Was it the Sacrament? Yeah, Sacrament. That was solid. Um, but yeah, and it, this this one I think was the best one yet. All right. Boobzilla, what you got? Well, you guys actually named all of mine and my, my honorable mentions except for one. <gasps> Oh, I didn't do honorable mentions. I'll do them after. Okay. But yeah, I agree. I think Werewolf by Night um, and X were definitely my favorites. But honorable mention for me was Fresh. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, I had just because first, like, they did not market that movie. Like, Mm-mm. I would have never, ever watched it except for some kid on Facebook in a horror po- like group posted how much he liked it and i was like fashion stands in this like how have i not heard about this um and i was just really pleasantly surprised i've always <clears throat> kind of liked the the darker type so i married an axe murderer type movies um like <laughs> right. not like that one's obviously much more comedy by like those kinds of storylines um And some of my favorite horror movies have that kind of like weirdness where things like are very not normal, but one person is trying to like play house and pretend like everything's normal. And that to me is like uh, one of the scariest things in like true horror. Yeah. Um, But I thought they did like a great job. Obviously, there was a couple of things like 
she gets her ass cut off and yet it seems to be there and she's dancing and walking around later. Um, but <laughs> I think it was good. It also was really funny, just kind of their notes on like how the world is now on the dating scene and uh, also how easy it is to like get yourself in a situation that you can't immediately get out of. Yeah, it was it was definitely a fun movie. For sure. And it has a dance scene. It does have a dance scene. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't see that one. So you now should. I'll check it out. I had yeah, to you... Google it. So I think you're right that it was not. You guys should as well. It's, it's I don't think it was super long and it's really fun. It's like a it and it is a romance horror kind of. Yeah. I don't know. I think yeah, you guys will I think you guys will get a kick cute. out of it. It's there's, not boring. No. And it moves pretty fast. So And there's some good like tongue in cheek. Mm -hmm. stuff in there that you'd appreciate nice yeah i like stuff that doesn't have to take itself too seriously because everything nowadays seems to be way too serious yes way too serious i mean in the world so in my movies like i don't need them to be serious no i don't need the world to be serious nice well i don't need that either but i fucking can't change that shit (laughs) i've been trying I've been trying, and people just look at me confused. So it's it's a simulation. Don't worry; it'll reset itself sooner or later. Yep. One of my honorable mentions, for the record, is Nope. And I know that <laughs> I know that he has a difficult relationship with Jordan Peele. Yeah, but I really enjoyed that movie. As far as like the characters seem to be that you know be believable in through their through line. I thought the design of the creature was really interesting. It reminded me of an anime that has been around forever that I had never watched until recently, Evangelon. And then it turned out that that was 100% one of the influences on it, uh, especially the creature itself. So I was like, okay, that's awesome. Um, So for me, there was a lot of really cool parts to that. And I really just sort of enjoyed the whole story. And I I thought it was probably... I do not have the relationship with Jordan <laughs> Peele that you have, E. I've always been a fan of his, and I'm enjoying. I've enjoyed all his movies uh, for what they were. They all feel like almost like he's creating his own Twilight Zone uh, episodes of just these different situations that he creates. I can see that, spins. but I think this was one of his strongest. Right, and I know that some I... people didn't feel that way, even in the reviews and the response to it. But like. You know, I love monster movies and I thought this was a great one and it felt classic to me. Right. And like it felt like in some ways a 50s uh, monster movie alien thing, even though, you know, it had some of the elements of it where, you know, it was just like so many unknowns and they were kept that way. And it was pretty I felt like it was a real tight plot. And that was like my number two Um horror sci-fi i'm a sucker for so i will probably watch that at some point um aside from me thinking he's a complete hack when it comes to horror movies nice um <laughs> love his comedy he's hilarious with his comedy M- movie wise you know it just doesn't do anything for me but the thing that bummed me out about that movie was he kind of gave it all up in the trailers too and i'm like well what the fuck man like it did the trailers did give up a little too much i think this, there's a there's a concept now they think they have to sell like they have to give you a lot to get you there right so you you have to see the monster you have to see uh the beats no, dude, i just i want nothing yeah, yeah. stop I'd watching rather... some maybe people in seriously <laughs> stop watching them <laughs> <laughs> Val knows what's up. Val's right. ahead of the game. <laughs> but Yell no, at people when they try to show them to you. <laughs> I want to throw fuck one, you up. I want to throw one more out though, at least that we watched today that I think was kind of kind of like pretty funny, um, and ridiculous, and clearly mocking that which it depicted and i saw it get a lot of shit for the for certain things that i was like did no one get that this is mocking this was bodies 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 and yeah 
I actually got a kick out of that. I like, like, kind of like I like the guy who was my age. Lee <laughs> yeah. Pace. My favorite yeah. part of that movie was when they're like upstairs with him and they're going through his shit and they're like, "Why does he have a map and a flashlight?" <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what I said. I was like, "Who wouldn't?" Yeah. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> that's what I said. I was like, "That like they, kill me." <laughs> but no, I liked body bodies by his bodies actually a lot yeah. later after I watched it. Not necessarily while I was watching it, <laughs> mainly because of the guy who was like in his forties or whatever, and I could totally relate to him. And it made me feel like maybe I'm not crazy for feeling like there's such a distance between some of the kids who work for me and me at my age. But um, I. I instant like I knew how he died. I totally like like when they were playing with it at that I I turned to Christian and I was like he fucking you know stabs himself. So I wish that that thought hadn't have come in my head because it kind of just like made me feel dissatisfied at the end. <laughs> but I thought it was a great commentary on just like the current state of affairs and how um not necessarily how dumb people can be, but how like into their phones and social media and just weird shit. I don't the know. The argument <laughs> with the breakdown I argument. Liked it. Yeah, the breakdown argument with the different phrases of like <laughs> it was just like like yeah. I mean it was just a clearly just taking the piss out of everybody right now. And I thought that was pretty pretty hilarious also i had mentioned to valerie while watching this that i was like have you ever been to a party like this with a bunch of insipid rich kids and like no i could and i said no i can't imagine why they didn't leave as soon as they got there i would have left oh yeah in sonoma county there was definitely stuff like that i've been to two (laughs) that were straight up and they both ended the same way kind of like this without dying but without anyone dying where it was like Everybody was an asshole. Everybody was trying to get as fucked up as possible. Everybody was miserable. Then inevitably, two dudes would take issue over something dumb, get into a fight, or a bunch of girls would get really angry and start screaming tears and things getting broken. And it, and like one was somebody screamed to everybody, should just get out, get out, get out. And Lots I thought, of cocaine. Like, yeah. And I was just like, they nailed this. These people are terrible. And it was like at the time I remember one time I was like, dude, I just want to go home and play like video games. Like I have no interest in partying like this. I, clearly I am not this. Yeah. But... I, I never experienced a party like that either. Oh, maybe it's a no. Pittsburgh there, thing. There I get that there was who... a hurricane coming, but I think I would have risked <laughs> leaving. <laughs> dude. I would rather be in a car during a hurricane than in a house with those kids. Yeah, yeah, even the guy's butthurtness about the other guy, like Pete Davidson's character, like how, but like I was like, oh my god, I've seen that discussion, and I've been in the corner going, why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about the. And he's like, what did you mean by that, bro? What do you mean, seriously? No, wait, bro, wait, wait. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> he's I like, think I don't that know. once people like really started dying, that movie was good. But up until yeah. that, I was like, okay. yeah. Let's just kill somebody. Real yeah, I didn't this. see the ending coming. Do this. Like I, I was actually surprised at the end, which was cool. I liked the yeah. ending. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah definitely, nice. it was a fun ending for sure. They nailed to me. It was more of like a teen comedy kind of movie or a young yeah, adult like, comedy yeah. than like a horror movie. It felt kind of clueish in a way, and then like kind of modern take on just like watching them. Just yeah, it was like unravel TikTok and uh, the board game Clue. Yeah, and you just fucking like beat them on the ground and everywhere, like smash them together repeatedly uh, while listening to Taylor Swift. You would have bodies, bodies, bodies. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather just what do you watch mean Clue. You listen to my yeah. podcast. A podcast is really hard. I've been like working at it for a long time. Did you just roll your eyes? <laughs> oh, this is like I was like, oh, yeah, nice. yeah. This was, yeah, this was perfect. Like there was, and then I like read a bunch of stuff where people were like, I don't know, it's kind of insipid. I was like, that's the point. <laughs> like yeah, it's, it's supposed, supposed to be, to be like, yeah. you know, <laughs> like just and even the stuff like. 
show me your phone and then uh-huh. their phone it's like oh yeah so you're innocent you didn't, you didn't like do anything i was just it was so ridiculous yeah. it made me laugh like i i felt like i had to mention it because it was funny sure i think like, i lost way more thinking back on it i think yeah are we yeah. sure hellbender wasn't this year <laughs> i really <laughs> love that august, movie august it august was for year. us <laughs> Like I said, time past. time isn't a thing anymore. So it could be I could your have best. Sworn that it was on like a list of best of 2022, which is also it a was. commentary on 2022. If it's a 2021, <laughs> and it's still making the list. I wonder. Yeah, it's on a bunch of them. Yeah, I wonder if it had if it was filmed last year, but then had like a wider release in 2022. Probably Shutter picked it up. The initial yeah. release was August 14th, 2021. Yeah. Yeah, that makes it a Maybe it was like, maybe it was in some festivals and just barely anywhere. And then it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I didn't, they're I didn't up in your it. neck of the woods, Courtney. I, they're, they're over by you, apparently. They live up. I that's where it was. That. They're, they I mean, live they, up there. They, they, there's horror movies filmed in here oh, all the fucking time. Oh, wait, Mama wait, Shelley Duvall just filmed out by my work. Uh, breaking news. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> the release date, uh, it has two release dates. Uh-huh. Uh, that was the release date for Fantasia Fest, but it's that U.S. Pr- release date. What? What is What is Fantasia Fest? Uh, I don't know. Probably just some. That's Fantasia or Fantastic. I know Fantastic Fest Mm-mm. in Austin is a horror festival. Fantasia Fest. Fantasia. But then it has another release date of February twenty fourth, twenty twenty two. Yeah, so that's, just says United States. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. So, so it premiered. Ah! Well, I mean, I don't know. In in my view, it, it would still be a twenty twenty uh, twenty one movie because it premiered. It hit the screen first in that year. But we will allow talk, this. We we'll allow this. this. Yeah. It was in Canada. Be- <laughs> it was released in the United States in 2022. Canada doesn't count. <laughs> I know. So I need to change my answer then. <laughs> we'll, we'll accept it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll allow, I'll, we'll allow this. It could be a tie. Yeah. Yeah. Hellbender I mean, was great. It's it's an arty film. I haven't film. seen that one yet. It, it it's definitely an arty film, but its concepts are solid. And the st- the story is pretty cool, and the idea that this entire family just makes movies and they've done it, and then they, I guess, as the daughters got older, they started going like, the, like the, the actress mother and her, the filmmaker father, they were making like trying to make their own low budget dramas, mm-hmm. and then their kid, and they put their kids in it, and as their kids got older, they're like, no, no, we need to do horror. And so the mother wrote this movie and I think she like she nailed it. And they I saw an interview with the family where they're like, you're going to keep doing this. And and they're like, yeah, we've definitely found our home in horror. Like we are fully in with horror now. Yeah, and, they uh, wrote it. They directed it. They acted in it. Uh, they wrote all the music and performed the music that's in it, too. It's incredible. It's there's such a talent. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and like you could see them, they're on to something. I'm hoping they keep keep down this road, but it's definitely a folk horror. And I got really excited because I picked up a a folk horror collection, uh all all your haunts belong to us. And it's a bunch of oh, a whole collection of horror movies based around a documentary that's on shutter. So okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a it's a long documentary mm-hmm. so watch it in pieces i think it's like three hours and i was like god damn and it's all about folk horror and its development and all these really cool movies um that deal with that and where it came from and everything and this is a hundred percent folk horror it Definitely. is right in there and uh <clears throat> it's it's fun it's it's just a fun little movie i'm I, I've gotten yelled at on this fucking podcast by people who go like, oh, you directed me to watch that piece of shit. And it's like, look, man, <laughs> I can't promise you that you're going to love everything. But it's it's a movie made by a family about hellbenders. And when you figure, you know, it's a folk horror. It's really cool. And it, it, it this family's onto something. I I saw it. 
it is no was not one of my favorites um i liked aspects of it like i thought the story could be it was a little it was just a little too artsy for me they they are trying a little yeah hard. um I think that's the dad i think that uh, yeah he's like he's the push of the the cinematography and the he's trying to make it yeah i could totally like i see think that. that's why it stood out for me it was so unique you know? yeah i mean i for me, I, there's definitely like a cool story in it, but yeah. it there's a lot of like artsy stuff put in. Yeah, some it of the also. scenes with the music did get a little bit awkward. They were like a little bit like forced, too long maybe, and felt did feel kind of forced. So yeah, yeah there were a couple things. It's also note, very sixties. Sixties yeah. uh, art house style. Like mm-hmm. it's not like modern art house. It's like it feels more 60s ish even though it's now for sure like i could totally see why people like it mm-hmm. and everything is just a little too artsy for me but yeah well but yeah every character <laughs> every main notable character is a member of this family yeah well when like, i was watching his friend is her sister is actually her sister her the kid she meets like the the hiker is the dad you know it's like it's it's cool when uh because they debuted it on shutter on uh or not debuted it, but uh on the last drive-in was one of the movies joe bob had on there so they had the family on and everything and they were saying oh you know it's made by uh husband and wife and their daughters and all that and when i was watching it so i obviously knew the mother and the daughter were related because they look like each other. And then when the friend, the pool friend, I was like, that totally looks like her sister. I wonder if they're related too. So I had to IMDB real quick. I was like, they are. Look at that. So, which is cool. Yeah. I mean, fucking cheap labor. This was probably horror news. Did you guys ever talk about what happened to shutter recently? How they just like fired everybody over there? Uh, I think we talked a little bit about it. Yeah, they laid off. It might happen. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, no, they laid off everybody. Like, I don't know. It's like a shell of it. Like, the staff is like a shell of itself. Most people think that they're going to fold it into a new uh, channel, like AMC Plus, whoever owns it. Like, well, well, there's AMC Plus, which has like horror movies. It just has a ton of movies in general on it. Um, Some people think they're going to fold it into that. Yeah, I mean that's what I thought if mm. something happened, but it's like Shutter's so inexpensive, and I feel like it probably pays for itself, and it's so like benign to AMC. Well, they like, let everybody like, go. It's done. Like the guy that directed it, like the head of it, is gone. The, well, like, they let every they gone. let a bunch of people go, but they're still like, there's still there's like a skeleton crew still running it because. Yeah, the last drive-in just got renewed for a fifth season. Well, that's the thing. Drive yeah. at the drive uh, the drive-in, and then yeah. Dragula are kicking mm-hmm. ass, and they're not going. They both said like, "No, nothing yeah. affects us." So, so if they, do I think anything. it's going to get folded into AMC Plus, which I'm fine with. If it happens, I would. I like Shutter. I prefer it by itself. But yeah, I mean, yeah, they, I prefer if they the do that. I'll follow it. Fifty-seven dollars a year. I <laughs> think. Like, that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I like old movies too. So if it gets folded in, then I'll just watch everything there. But I, yeah, I'm sorry we'll to hear about that with Shutter because they did a really good job with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, and it seemed like it was only growing. So it's a little disappointing that they axed everybody because it doesn't seem like anybody fucked up. Everybody was like, that channel is doing a really good job. In the years that this podcast has existed, that channel has grown. For sure. Almost alongside well, this. So, like right in time for the holidays, they laid off everybody. I saw yeah. all these people like on Twitter just going like, well, that's that. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. The stuff will exist in some other form somewhere else. So I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, Shudder. Shudder's pretty rad. And an honorable mention. Shout out to The Last Driving with Joe Bob Briggs. And Darcy the Mail Girl. Diana Prince. And the jamborees and all that show, man. They yeah. just need to have you on that show. They do. Well, when he when he exits, I'm the perfect fucking old cranky guy to fill Joe Bob's shoes. 
start your own channel on YouTube. Start working it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Shutter, and hopefully it stays around still. But if not, we'll live, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we didn't really have any exact. We had a lot of overlap, but not a, like a full agreement on a movie. I guess, I guess, Werewolf by Night. We all agree was the one. So wouldn't that be the winner of of our? Yeah, I mean, it'd probably be the consensus of what people should see. I think. Wow. Or whatever. Never yeah. thought I'd live to see the day that a Disney production would win <laughs> best horror movie of the year. Well, sounds you like did. Creepy shit. <laughs> Lizard people. I mean, I picked X. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think all we were pretty much on the same page with pretty much everything, the best mm-hmm. and the worst. So I feel like I was like arguing for the trees for a couple of these pieces, but <laughs> <laughs> I actually watched Hellraiser and liked it. So. Yeah, like I didn't hate it. It was just, it just wasn't a Hellraiser movie. Like there's too much history to try and reintroduce something that's so different or such a different feel. I feel like if they were just put them in like black latex and been a little more creepy, I've been like, okay, this feels like a Hellraiser movie. This makes me feel kind of warm and like, oh, comfortable enough to fall asleep. Yeah. This Mm -hmm. is a soothing movie. Yeah, exactly. It was warm and cozy. Yeah. I'm like, that's not how a Hellraiser movie should be. But we can all agree it was pretty, pretty boring. <laughs> what I saw of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So that's the year. The year of bullshit. Wait, I, I have a question. Is yeah. there anything for 2023 that you have heard about that is coming that you're interested in? Aside Winnie the Pooh, first. Blood and Honey. Yeah. What is it? Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's probably gonna be awful, but I'm I'm keeping up hope. And then if they release the Five Nights at Freddy's movie this year, mm-hmm. I'm excited for probably that too. Come out this year. The initial casting sounds good. The e- oh. new Evil Dead, I'm excited about. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to see that in Austin. Well, I don't know. That's like I'll be in the area right sure around that will. time. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that one either. I saw the trailer and I, I was don't like, wanna I don't want to get excited for it. Yeah. If I don't get excited, then maybe I'll be happy. Yeah, that's a good good plan. Just what I've seen of it, I'm interested. And anything that says it, I know those guys are involved and I'm curious. I've liked every evil dead that's existed in the show. Yeah, okay, but we just went new. we just went through twenty twenty two with um Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Halloween, mm-hmm. Hellraiser. I'm sure there's others. Yeah. 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 I don't have a lot of hope for it, even from what I've seen of the trailer, which I didn't show too much. And it seems again like it's, you know, like how we've always talked about seclusion. Like it seems like it's in one place, which is good. But in like the city, giant apartment building, I don't know. 2023 or 22 whenever cocaine bear i'm sorry cocaine bear yes yeah i gotta see cocaine bear (laughs) hey dom they're making another scream they are i know yeah i don't care i mean i I won't even watch it for jenna or yeah i think they've already i think they've already filmed it yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah i mean yeah that can just eat one big dick does it really need to be another scream so Winnie so. the Pooh, drug, drug, Blood and Honey, Evil Dead Rise, Cocaine Bear, not Scream Six. No, no, no. It's them five, and Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, Five, five and Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's. Them if it gets filmed and put out this year, Renfield, or if maybe. that'll happen. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be funny. I'm sure. Has anybody seen Megan yet? No, I was actually going to ask that. Yeah, I haven't either. It's just no, bad I, news everything just I've read, they said that it definitely adheres to a PG thirteen rating. 
yeah nothing really about that movie like appeals to me at all i'm like i don't care about some weird dancing doll ai you thing. don't like goldie <laughs> only the blow up ones Ew. Uh, <laughs> uh okay well right. yeah so let's here, here's to a good 2023 of horror movies and not yeah, scream six <laughs> Yes, here's a moment of silence. We can all manifest. Everybody think of the horror movie they want to see, and it shall be so. Well, let's let's fucking get out of here. Like, thank Dom and Val for coming on. It's good to see you guys. Good to talk to you guys. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, guys. For sure, go follow and buy stuff from Monster Legion, and that's an order. You have to. Buy the Gottenard shirt. Lots yep. of all the shirts. <laughs> Forget the mugs. Buy the shirts. Yeah. I promise there'll be Buy a big shirts. ant shirt on there somehow. I'm gonna do it. I, yeah. I'll figure it. with something else that will show the ant size. Yeah. Yeah. I mean probably well, not a dime. Even maybe I'll rampage it. Dime is a great put ants in a city just crawling all over the place. Well, know. dude, that's probably I mean, public domain. It's some like it's gotta be, right? Mm, I don't know. The only thing I could find was the movie poster on a shirt. That seems pretty lazy. Yeah. Well, just fucking go find a cool yeah. image from a scene, yank that off, and stick it on there. You don't even have to put the word. Just. Oh, there could be a person. Yeah. There's lots of cool yeah. scenes in there that, if anyone is a fan of that movie, will know. The, that movie. All like, two of us will <laughs> recognize, like, oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. We'll be like high five each other. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Yes, such a good reference. Ah, oh. ah, oh, man, I can't wait to do that good of a job. Yeah. All right, everybody, thank you, Yin's Candy Killers, for joining us again. All you little noodle heads out there, um, be sure to check out Monster well, Legion. And be sure to check Mr. us out on the next I episode of Monster Candy, candy Podcast. You little bitches. Like scary movies. Uh-huh. See you next time.